Hello, I finally got this album, B by BTS. This is the deluxe edition. When the Essential Edition comes out on February 19th, I'll probably be getting that as well, just so that I have like both versions, since there are only this deluxe version and the Essential version coming. That, um, whereas like the previous five or six albums by BTS have all had like four or five versions. It's all kind of ridiculous. But this one, I mean, it costs more, but it's, you, you only get, you get the one version and then there's the like other version that's coming out. So that will only be two. Unless there are like additional versions later like a Kino or something. Anyway, yeah, I finally got this. I think I probably paid a little too much. Um, on Amazon I could have got it new for like 44 and a half or something. Um, and since it's over $25 it would have, would have got free shipping and the tax wouldn't have been that much. Um, but this is an album that I've seen reviews online for where, like, some people ordered this and got their version and it came, like, completely destroyed. The box was all smashed up. The flap that's not supposed to... The, the, it's a box that's not supposed to open on the top and bottom, but, like, that, like, opened up. Certain things ended up being stolen. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I didn't want to order online because I was worried about something happening. So, I went to my local FYE and um, got it from there. And so, I, like, went in person, got it, carried it home with me. Yeah, so um, I'm going to get this plastic off real quick and then I'll um, open it up and show the goods. And here we are. The plastic is off. The spine just says B on the top and has the BTS logo on the bottom. The back isn't anything too spectacular. It just has some information on the bottom and the barcode. My got a my uh one got a little bit like a little bit of a uh I don't know what dinged a little bit but a you know, tiny little bit there too but it's not nearly as bad compared to like other like stories I've heard but um yeah yeah there's a magnet closure on the edge and so that's pretty neat. And you have your photo book. And uh, this is a lot of stuff to pull out. So I'm just going to do that here. Close the box and put it out of the way for a second. So to start off, we've got the photo book, which is a really big photo book and if if you've seen unboxings on on uh YouTube um then you probably know like the story with everything and you've seen all the photos and everything people were complaining that this half of the photo book was coming apart way too easy but a lot of people didn't realize until later that this side these are like these are like separate cards that are meant to um, come out individually. You can use these as you can frame them or do whatever. That's why they're all like single sided in that. And that's why the um, binding on that side is so thin. This other side has a proper. This, the white side has a proper um, 
binding like an actual book. But this other side, like, there's no spine, and the, the, the sheets are barely glued together because these are meant to be individually taken out and um, used and framed and stuff. Yeah, the backs, the backs of each one of these have nothing, nothing on them whatsoever except for like this front card. It just says life goes on like an echo in the forest, like an arrow in the blue sky. So yeah, I'm not going to do much with that, but um, I'll have to be really careful. But the rest of it is like a normal photo book for a more um, in-depth look at everything um, there are plenty of other unboxings on YouTube already I'm getting this pretty late but yeah there's a lot of stuff in here a lot of good photos really good Cool to see. Back cover is completely blank. The spine says B and BTS like the other. And then next you have the like making book, what they call it. Again, nothing on the back. Front's really simple. Something like kind of outtake sort of photos and notes and stuff like they jot it all down on like paper on looks like graphing paper and they just like take casual selfies and the sheets look like uh, notebook paper here you can probably write your own notes in it if you wanted to It's pretty cool. It adds a personal touch to everything. And we've got a um, scan the QR code on the Weaver shop to get the emblem and cash. If you want to, uh, if you can use that and you want to do that, go ahead. Got a uh, Polaroid card. As far as I know, everybody got one of these. And I think it's just the one. And then, like, unlike some albums or most albums where you get, like, a whole... Where you only get, like, one or two cards out of a set of, like, however many, you have a whole set of, um... Photo cards for one for every member of the group, and they all have like their their um, things written on the back in their own handwriting. And I think the cards in the essential edition will be different. But it'll have a set of seven like this, and then it'll have. Um, like one other random one that's from a, another set and you get a group photo and that just has it like printed normal and you've got your you got the set of postcards that go with the photo frame these are these look like they're blank on the on the back Blue sky. This looks like something you could get, like, you could just take a photo of the sky and then go to, like, your local uh, Walgreens or something and have it printed and it would look something like that. You could do, you could DIY something like that. That would be ne pretty neat. Some mirrors, looks like. Some bokeh. I like that one. That would be cool to have, like, a desktop wallpaper if you could scan this at a high... DPI and uh, Yungi, um, also known as Sh Suga or Suga. Uh, this is like a painting he did apparently, 
And I don't know if like they had permission or not permission to use it um, in the album, but they did. I don't. I don't know either way. There's like a light and uh, a broken mirror. Hope they didn't get any bad luck from that. So yeah, all of these look like they're blank on the back. There's nothing, nothing on them. So here's the photo frame. Just opens up. And uh, can put the cards in there. And then they sh shine out. And there's the CD, the disc. The um, Essential Edition CD will just be like completely white with black text as, f as far as I've seen. Regular silver CD. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Nothing on the back. And then um, you got a poster that has lyrics and other notes. It's a pretty big, pretty big poster. Probably seen this in other unboxings. And you have another uh, poster that's like the members, and it's a. Uh, Something like that. Group photo. And then the Essential Edition will have another, um, a different, a different one. So, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I finally got this. And I will be getting the Essential Edition when that comes out. Um, or probably a little bit afterward. Um, whenever my local FYE gets it, I guess. Um, so that's about it for now. Um... I will talk to y'all uh, when I have something else to unbox or something, or something to cook, or something to try, or something like that. And that's been it. I'll see you in the next video, or you'll see me in the next video, something like that. Alright, bye.